All right, guys, let's go. Let's go on down. We got 82%. We got plenty of charge, so I think we'll make it back. So let's do a pivot turn and get out of here. You think I? You think I can make it up that that rock face right there? Let's try. <laughs> yep. No problem. Yeah. Light be bad. So I haven't been using the regen a whole lot. We're probably going to use it on the way down, though. Okay, so from here on out, it's all downhill, and it's kind of it's a lot, it's easier than the than the stuff that we just got through. the The section we just passed is the easy, the hard, no, most difficult. All right, that's the, the rock garden section. It's pretty gnarly. Um, yeah, it's gnarlier than I remember it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've ridden this three times, and it doesn't fail to imp it, it never fails to impress. Let's go this way. So it's going to be a lot of switchbacks going down. Actually, let me get our, let's get our elevation before we go down too far. All right, before we head down any further, um, we've, we're at an elevation of 6,376, so around 6,400 feet. We just went down a little bit. So I, the top is 6,400 feet. I think, uh, I don't know, that's probably why I'm huffing and puffing right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, six. 6,000 feet, 60, almost six and a half. So I think we started around 5,000. We probably climbed about 1,000 feet. That's my guess, you know. Oh. We'll be using the regen a lot going down to help charge the battery as much as possible because I don't know if we're going to make it back. So. All right, it was pretty easy. Just kind of banked stuff here. There will be some kind of rocky sections too, still. Well, I will be using the regen to... A rock just hit my helmet. Oh! Oh! You bet Hayes Mega was just using an engine braking. Get the KLX down this. Do some flat tracking action here. Or, uh, leg out. Supermoto. So we, uh, we should probably watch out for traffic, definitely. My elbows are starting to hurt going down this. You gotta ride looser, man. <laughs> Oh, here's an epic view right here. Stop right here. Nice. All right, continue on our way. The important thing is don't go too fast so you don't fly off the road. We did not want to fall off the road. And it's, it is kind of slippery. I was hoping there would be some kind of hero dirt. Last time I came up here there was definitely hero dirt. Because there was snow and everything. But it's kind of, it's pretty dry and slippery right now, man. I'm not getting very good traction here. Good place to get your slide on, I guess.
Yeah, it's still the bike is still beating me up a whole lot, man. All right, when I get to like a viewpoint or something, I'm definitely gonna stop, guys. So on the way back, I'm probably just gonna rip it the whole way. Plus, I like ripping it going uphill. So. Rocky. Just don't slam into those big rocks and we'll be fine. Oh, oh, no. This is a workout. I thought going down would be easy, but not so. Still pretty rocky. Oh, oh my God. Those are gonna go over the edge, you know? Oh, I got some hikers here. Howdy! Yeah, people do hike up this, so we gotta be kind of careful. Can't just rip it all the time. We gotta be careful around the blind turns, too. I keep on you know, forgetting. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of beat up right now, because I just went dirt biking a day, and then we were supermoto riding and racing for like three days and uh, and now we're here dirt biking again. <laughs> so I'm pretty beat, you know. And my stamina is probably not the best. I'll slow it, slow it down. But yeah, we gotta watch out for traffic guys. Okay, here's a shark park right here. Working that regen. So if you remember, we had like 80, like 82 percent at the bottom, at the top. Let's see how much it is at the bottom. Oh, look at this. It's kind of nasty. I remember the KLX made it through this pretty easily. So I'm expecting great things from the Light V, but the Light V's speeding me up pretty bad, man. It's a rear shock, man. I don't like it. I'm gonna try to soften it up as much as I can, you know. This goes down, down, down. I feel like I want more power on the uphills, but less power on the downhills. <laughs> Watch out, blind corner. Don't go ripping around too fast. Look before you leap type of thing, you know? Oh, here's a nice uh, viewpoint, all right. Here's a, yeah, too many trees in the way. Let's keep on going. Oh, right here, right here's a good one. Beautiful.
big photo spot. We're at 82% charge, so I don't know, we're not gaining as much charge as I thought we would. Hopefully we'll be at 90 on the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm hoping. Hopefully we gain a percent or two of charge. All right, there we go. These warp nine foot pegs are great, man. They stick really good. They allow you to step on the foot pegs and get the bike to tip over easily. So I'm kind of riding with my legs right now. Oh, here we go, we're out in Red Rocks. All right, this is why they call it Red Rock Canyon, guys. All right. Wheelie there. Remember, we gotta go up this too. So. <laughs> uh, use the region to slide the back around there. Worked quite well. Well, there might be people, man. I think we're at the bottom, guys. <laughs> we made it. That's really rocky. I'm still beating the crap out of my hands, man. It's not super plush. That's it. Good job, Eddie's Mega. So there's, you're, we're gonna see a lot more people here because this is inside the park. This is actually like a hiking trail. We'll see people hiking here. Oh, wheelie over everything. <laughs> 
We made it to the bottom. We made it to Red Rock Canyon Park. Uh, we'll just kind of just take it easy. I won't want to go. I won't want to go softer on the suspension. I was already pretty soft, you know. I think I want to go even softer. I don't know. Actually, I didn't bother to check what my uh, my pressure was. <laughs> Nice. Alright, good job, Light B, you made it. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can soften the suspension more, if I can get it even softer. This is it, this is pretty much end of the line right here. White Rock Mani. White Rock, White Rock Mountain. Yeah. Alright. We did it. We made it to the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't see no mountain bike uh, mountain bikers out there. Good job, Light B. So we made it. We've got 79% charge. I'm pretty sure we'll make it back. Yeah, good job. I, I, it was kind of sketchy where we would make it back or not, but we did it. All right. Um, let me go over the stats for the ride so far. I'll probably make a second part of a video me going the back, uh, going back. Okay. It, it's it's a different ride going back. I'll tell you that. All right, um, it should be easier because we don't have to go up the rock garden anymore. We can go down it. Um, so we rode a total of 8.43 uh, miles to get here. So that, that sounds about right. The light B should run out of power around 20 something miles, okay? If a uh, hard uh, dirt riding, okay? But we're going up and then down. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna blow a lot of power, but we're gonna go down and then we're, we're gonna regen on the way down to save some power. Um, so we're at 4,500 foot elevation, according to this. If you guys are wondering, we went from at the very peak, 6,500 feet to 4,500 feet. So we we um, we went down 2,000 feet. All right, and the air is probably <sighs> much easier to breathe down over here. Okay, it does seem a little warmer here too. But yeah, so this is Red Rock Canyon Park right here. Okay, so I think it's a Nevada State Park. And it's kind of like you go in over over there, and it's like a big you dig do a big loop, and then you can see all these mountains and stuff. It's like a it's a very very scenic drive is what I'm gonna call it. Okay, so if you get a chance and you're in the area, go check it out. But you have to go on like in a car or motorcycle, you know, a street like vehicle. Uh, we took the very difficult way to get here. That's what I was gonna say. All right, all right. Um, so here's some stats for that. That riding we did in that video we had a max speed of 33.5 miles per hour guys not very fast we rode a total 8.43 miles and we were a moving average at 13.9 it took us 36 minutes to get here and this guy's been on for 52 minutes so i've been taking like 20 minutes of break so it's not too bad um i've been taking picture breaks on the way back we're not really going to take too many pictures okay all right here's my god.